It's been some wait, but the European Le Mans series is finally back. It's a cracking getaway to dive into the first corner. Side by side again. This is back to my pictures. Well, this just came off. Huge job for two cars in the background there. It's a big senior corner. Go the other side of the real team racing car. There's something else kicked up off the road. Oh, a breakage of rear suspension, possibly. So there you go, Jot Van Aerter confirmed as the race winner. The European Le Mans series makes its annual trip to Spa Francorchamps and we've picked a very nice weekend weather-wise. Thirty seconds under thirty seconds to start the formation round two. Wow, and round two. This is for the number 60 car. Anthony Davidson tried to turn in, couldn't. Definitely between Dayson in the RLR M Sport car. There's a kind of wall, and it's for Lee Jensen, the best the race leader. On lap 77, Jensen's in the wall. Second flag on car 22. There is David Perel for the 74 Kessel Racing squad. In the Mans series makes a quick return to Le Castellet in the south of France, about 50 kilometres out of Marseille. The start is behind the safety car. There is no formation lap, and the pit entry will be closed for the first three laps. No real reaction just yet for Roman Rusinov. Bogs down in second place. And that's also dislodged a huge amount of bodywork as well. Bordy Shatter diving up the inside to try and retain that position. Oh, well, was he, he was on the outside, that was the problem. So there was a this sandwich, a pincer movement. Albuquerque has made the move. Philippe Albuquerque, it's another win in the European Le Mans series. Later on in the year than we expected, but we all know the reasons why the European Le Mans series is once again at uh, Autodrama Internazionale di Monza. <laughs> further behind and that is Rusinov in number 26. Now up to third goes Henning Enquist. Contact for the 60 Ferrari a minute or two ago, just a bit and then some. Hopefully he was battling with an LMP3 car coming out of this point of the track. Rear deck, rear deck. That's the car that's been rebuilt and there's a bin as well for Garrett Christian. We go behind him and having a sneaky look up the inside is Nicolas Lapierre. They've now 
won the European Le Mans series. Phil Hansen and Philippe Albuquerque do the treble. Nobody has ever done that in the history of ACO rules racing. Open pit exit for LMP2. Forty miles still, the red lights are on, and now they go out. It is a good getaway from Will Owen, although he's going to be raced all the way down to turn one. Swapped by the G-Drive car, going to go right round the outside. And what a move there for Roman Rusinov. The spin, that was the second place battle. The inside of Wolfgang Triller was Martin Hipper, that was a fabulous move. Oh, they're going to door bang as well. It's going to be side by side down into the first corner for the race lead, and Jensen gets it. Christoph Ulrich got it wrong on the exit of turn five, snapped to the left. Oh, diving on the inside, brilliant move. Side by side, Edex Sport getting uh, in thick. Door handle to door handle. There it is to take the first win of the season. It will mean by my maths that that team finished third in the championship. What a make, what a. 77 wins, GTE. I think uh, Wayne Boyd will take the P3 class when he comes through. Is coming through right now.